We have what? Proton car, 30, 40 years? But do we produce our engine? Tak ada. We try lah. We try. First time. Tapi engine tak jalan. <laughs> okay. So, engineers, what are you doing? Okay, so, I mean of course, not only engineers. We, uh, professors, tegu, semua lah, ministry. Let's reflect at our education system, how do we have to do it, and then why we cannot reach to all this. I, I mean, I'm, uh, we're talking to our young children. I already, I have a forum recently in Malaysia, in, in University of Malaya. My panel, all young children, ages from 9 to uh, 19 years old. All are very honest. I said, do you know about STEM? I only know about STEM because I invited here to be the forum. I know mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Because they are one of the final forum, so the teacher prepared them. So that is the first time they heard about STEM. They ask uh, the child, uh, do you uh, uh, enjoy learning STEM? No. Why? Because child, uh, not children, they are very honest. So why? Uh, the teacher's teaching very boring. The teacher's in front of you. So she said, so as the teacher go down, we reflect, listen to what our student want. Too boring. But, you know, sometimes if you, if you don't want to ask them to talk in public, ask them to write. What's wrong with our teaching? What do you want? Then, we listen to the other thing. Okay? Alright, now, the now uh, way to donate. You want to donate also? We are using a uh, uh, wave. Ah, uh, I know, donate. Dekat dulu kan? Allah, tak ada duit loh. Now, uh, come on, we have a wave. So you can donate to this uh, people, all the mission is there. So this is the, the, the first last revolution we are talking. Are we ready? In order to ready that, our talents must be strong in physics, chemistry, biology, and math. Kalau tidak, how do you want to design all those things? How do you want to do it? Alright. Okay, there are a lot of QR code. Yeah, we are also way to donate. There are in the phone, in the bottles of drinks. Uh, you know, so you just click, donate already. <coughs> Tapi kalau kita ada duit, you just don't simply click lah. Apa yang duit? Tak apa Okay, so these are the things that uh, uh, the QR code. Even now, people are doing seminars. They don't print any more tick-tick proceeding or whatnot. All use QR code. Click saja dekat depan pintu. Oh, ini uh, saya tak mau ini, saya nak pergi tempat lain. So, all this, yeah. Uh, school pun kena guna macam tu. Berapa less? Kesian pokok. That's why kita banjir. Sebab pokok dah tak ada to, to, uh, to hold the... Uh, Okay, do you have enough stem talents? Datuk, macam mana do you have enough stem talent? Tak ada. Tahu tak? Tak ada. Maybe at the back, right, that t-shirt dulu, right? do you have enough stem talent? <laughs> Probably. Probably say tak ada. So, I think, let's work together. We have to do. Kalau kita perlu semua jumpa tahun mahadir sekejap lagi, let's go. Okay. Yo, yo. <laughs> no, he is a very, very critical mind person. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, he loved Stan. Stan. In 1974, he said, let's uh, work one house, produce one house, one scientist. We can, we can uh, you know, talk to him. When I was in OC, we invited him for public venture. In the VIP room, I asked him, uh, I said, Tuan, I want to ask you one sensitive question. What is that? Uh, why uh, we fail the PPSMI, the, the teaching of English uh, for maths and science? Oh, I don't be angry. Enough! I can tell all of my dad, stupid director. When I said, are we ready? Yes, sir. We are yes, sir, person. <laughs> you must tell me what's the problem and how. Then now everybody blame me. <laughs> when I do a longitudinal study on that PPSMI, people's uh, the kids are doing very well. The only thing is that in the implementation last time, 
it should be started from early childhood. Then from Adidas uh, 1 went on stage. But we start at uh, primary 1, form 1. The primary 1, no problem. But starting the form 1, after 6 years in uh, mother tongue, then the change, there is uh, challenges. So this is what was not informed to do. Yeah? All right. Okay. Uh, this <laughs> Esten Blumenthal, with his Spanish colleague Fran Adria, he has had a significant impact on molecular cuisine over the years and continues his intensive cooperation with science to this day. This is not only important for his new creations, but also has very practical motives. For me, science is important in cooking for several reasons, and particularly in restaurant cooking. Because if you were to cook, say you have three or four or five dishes that you love to cook and you think you're really good at, and you think all the people that eat it will love it, you cook those dishes. You can almost do it with your eyes closed. It's intuitive. It's got just about cooking with touch and taste. The kitchen environment is very different. In a gastronomic kitchen, I think many people don't realise this, it's a bit like an orchestra. No, no one person will cook a dish from the beginning to the end. So that means you have to get consistency is the most important thing. If you want to dine at a fat time, you have to book months in advance. Fifty people cook here and serve lunch and dinner to 42 guests daily.
90% of all our experiments are what a lot of people think quite dull. So we might take vanilla ice cream, we might take six vanilla ice creams, and then same recipe apart from the egg yolk content. We might just change the egg yolk content to look at how the vanilla flavour is released. We might do six ice creams, one with sugar, white sugar, one with brown sugar, one with honey, one with glucose, to see how the sweetness affects the taste, to see how long they stay, stay in the texture for, how long it takes them to melt. So all of the creative stuff won't work unless you've got an absolute solid foundation. That's so important. But playfulness also has its place. The edible sand in Sound of the Sea was prepared with cassava roots. Sound of the Sea is a classic of the house. Kingfish, halibut and mackerel are all marinated in advance and each contributes a unique taste. The fish are elaborately decorated with various sea grasses. One of Heston Blumenthal's credos is that the visual effect of a dish must never be neglected. Now the only thing still needed is the roaring surf. from the juice of various species of seaweed and dried shiitake mushrooms complements the work of art. And to give the dish a really intoxicating swoosh, a specially equipped shell provides the sound effects. Yeah. Yeah. because it sounds a little bit pretentious. Um, but I would say the most important thing with food, from our point of view, and not that you need, you need it to live, of course, but for giving pleasure, the most important thing for pleasure is this, it's the brain. Yeah. So the ingredients and the senses and the techniques and the way that we cook the food all send signals ultimately to the brain and they give us pleasure with our food. The tasting menu in the fat duck has 15 courses. Only the very best from the restaurant's own laboratory kitchens makes it onto the menu. The fat duck is still the heart of Heston Blumenthal's company, which now employs almost 300 people in its four different restaurants and experimental kitchens. The secret of his success lies in his avant-garde creations, which never fail to inspire. His extraordinary skill is a byword as far away as Southeast Asia and Australia, thanks to numerous TV shows. Anyone who has ever dined in the fat duck won't easily forget the sensory experience they were given. For example, Blumenthal's variation of the Black Forest Gatto, a six-layer cake accompanied by a cherry aroma, sprayed in front of the guests' noses as an additional stimulator. It's funny when you know, think about, oh, chefs are creative scientists, some are not creative people. Some of the most creative people I've met are scientists, just because they get a white coat on and a clipboard, and they, they, they still have lots of ideas. And cooking, for me, works very similar to the science that I've experienced, is that chefs can learn a lot from scientists, but scientists can learn an awful lot from chefs. <laughs> Mutual inspiration is extremely important for this pioneer of molecular gastronomy. So, uh, this chef, Heston, uh, he is uh, the old master of science from the University of Bristol. So, a scientist, or, and even some uh, engineers also, and then now go into a uh, restaurant. But they don't sell um, you know, uh, uh, unhealthy food. They are, they are because of the STEM knowledge that he's giving, he's uh, obtaining. And then he designed uh, the best food. And then even he test it with all those uh, uh, proper equipment. And then he is the pioneer in using liquid nitrogen in the kitchen. 
But of course, they have to know the amount of nitrogen to be used. You know, so that's why STEM is not only um, the, uh, the, the the normal science now, but it's into chair. I said you don't do uh, you, you become rich to be a chair, but your food that you're selling to people is not healthy. The cakes or the food is not well balanced like what he's doing. Mm. And then um, he's the first to explore multi-sensory cooking because of his knowledge in the STEM just now. Cooking for him works very similar in science than he has experienced, right? He worked with various uh, scientists in England and employed over 300 people in his experimental kitchen. So that's why people said, oh, saya tak nak lah jadi uh, engineer or what not. I nak jadi chef. You know, if you want to become, dia punya restaurant, four months in advance kena book. Tak boleh macam mama stall kan? Malam ni, oh, mama, go out, tarik, tarik. Boleh masuk anytime. But his is uh, four months in advance. Then only, itu nasib lah, nasib kalau boleh. But uh, he really, uh, the quality, the, the scientific mind uh, is there. So this is the back to the ideal class time just now, is their everyday life. Bawa lah dia pergi lawat. You know? You uh, pergi sekejap, pergi UK sekejap, pergi lawat. Restaurant ni. Dekat New Zealand. Nanti dekat New Zealand. Hmm. Alright? Dia pergi apa? New Zealand. Hmm. Adi, Allah. Allah. Adi nak jadi uh, muzik, artis. Stanley, musician. Hmm. Hmm. Abang? Hmm. Abang minat eh? Thank <laughs> you.